All right, guys, hello, welcome to the video. So we're going to be playing the M41 Walker Bulldog today. I played this vehicle initially with the standard turret and standard gun and all that. We did have the engine just for the mobility, but I finally switched over after 42 battles. I got enough experience for the most part. We used a tiny bit of free experience, but I got enough experience to get the top gun and the top turret on this thing because when I first was playing it I'm like wow this thing is garbage and then I remembered like I actually have to get the turret and get the better gun because the gun was trollish as heck and I'm like why does this thing suck so bad the the gun is very inaccurate now the dispersion is looking good the aiming time is looking good um the view range is also looking a lot better like I was getting ready to crap hard on this thing but this thing might actually be okay i still don't like how the damage per shot is only 170 um it's an active scouting tank right it really is um i'm not a fan of the concealment though we're not full concealment but we're close it's probably like 40 percent. this thing basically to me is like the hawk 30 it's basically like the hawk 30 except um it's the standard version of the m41 so you don't have the high he hitting shells the high he high pen he shells right um and you don't really have anything else that's making it better than something like this or something like this right that's why this is so popular because it's basically the premium version um the gun is i've been told reliable it's going to be my first time playing with this gun because again i was playing with the other gun and also i guess it has good view range but I just feel like this tank is outdated, man. Again, I, I mean, we'll see how it goes now that I have the top gun and all. But it just feels outdated to me. Like the Hawk 30 is just going to be better in every way, as well as the, the premium M41, because you have a much harder hitting gun with the high pen HE shells, right? Um, and I just feel like this thing, compared to really any other light tank, like while it does have maybe a little bit more view range, um, active scouting in this game is just outdated man like it's very difficult to out to um out scout ebrs because ebrs are going to be the active scouts now so that's where this tank is just like it's it's extremely outdated and i feel like wargaming needs to give this thing just a little bit more like of something right the dpm is actually not bad and the gun like i think this thing you're gonna need to use the gun a lot so you almost play it like a medium in a way with no armor so that's what I'm thinking. Let's get into the games and find out, guys. I'm running this thing with Bounty, Low Noise, Exhaust, Optics, and the, the CVS. We don't have the field modifications yet. Again, I just unlocked everything here. We're going to get into the T49 eventually. But maybe, like, if they just gave this thing 200 damage a shot or something. You know what I mean? Just a little bit more. A little bit more, like, of something. Because I just feel like it's, it's not keeping up with all these other tanks, with the exception of the T-92, which is also an American tank. The, the, the T-92 um, doesn't hit hard at all, man. I think it's like 150 a shot. It's 150 a shot. So kind of the same thing, but at least this thing is sneaky, right? You have the concealment, you have decent view range, um, but it's way smaller too, way smaller, much smaller. Like, look at that. Look at the size difference compared to these two vehicles. So let's get into the games, guys. I played four or five battles in this. I reset this. But I'm telling you guys, I won one of the five battles today. 20% win rate. Um, and the, the games have just been so bad. Like, I know you guys know how the matchmaking is in this game. But I'm getting tier 10 matchmaking. Like, consistent tier 10 matchmaking. And I'm getting bad maps. And I'm getting bad teams. Okay. I can do something with this. Thank God. Tier 9 matchmaking, that's fine. We're going to be against an even 90, probably. Yep, LHM TV and all that shit, yeah. Of course, man, there's always an even 90. But I think we can actually make this um, map work, so that's good. I love this flavor, man. You guys see this? This is the best flavor, one of the best monster flavors ever. I am low, in my opinion. So, I'm going to try and take... Let's see where this even's going to go. I don't know. I'm going to try and go here, I think. I like this location. Let's see how the gun behaves now that I've 
have the, I have the much better gun. The aiming time went down considerably, and the dispersion went down considerably. Okay, what is this guy doing? Okay, you go that way. And the torque is also good on this thing. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's an active scout, right, guys? So the torque is good, but this thing is just too big. Like, honestly, it's just too big, man. It just hasn't really been working for me at all. I haven't been able to make it work. But we're going to try our best here. We have 495 view range with CVS. We should be lighting stuff here. I'm scared that the EVA 90 is going to spot me here. Come on, give me someone here. Give me someone. I'm trying different angles. Okay, the even 90 is over there. Did I see that right? Who's over there? The Lynx. That's the Lynx. Okay. In a previous game, um, I want to say it was like last night, someone was saying how broken spotting was, and I'm like, you don't know, man. You must not play light tanks enough, because <laughs> like this, there's, there's nothing about this that is broken. We haven't spotted anybody yet. Outspot the enemy light, no one hits him. Oh my god, man, this tank, it, I'm telling you guys, like, I'm laughing at this point, but it has been a nightmare. Last night was the worst games I think I've ever played, and this previous session, there goes the even, this previous session, um, with the last five games that I played, to kind of warm up, oh my goodness gracious, it was the worst games ever, guys, and I, I genuinely believe it's because I had the really bad gun, and I just can't do damage in situations where I need to do damage, because the gun is unreliable. I think this gun will be better, and we have more view range now as well, so. Okay, Lynx is pushing here. I'm thinking we just push this line and take this side of the map at this point. That's what I'm thinking. RHM is lit over here. Okay, we're getting some spotting on this guy. I need to be careful not to get lit by these people, but I think our view range or our concealment should be enough. Oh, even is here. We're going to go after this boy instead. Yeah, I'm going to hardcore tunnel vision on the even because I want to eliminate this guy from the game. I think we have a shot on the links from here as well. Yes, this thing is much better now. Yes, this gun is way better than the, than the standard one. Oh, my man. My man, my man, my man. Come here. We have to eliminate this guy before he's able to reload. Okay. Can't play the even 90 like that, my man. Being just a little too aggressive. So it's got the torque and it's got the mobility, right, to catch up with an even 90. The even 90 doesn't have great mobility either, but... So, but this gun, man, holy crap, the... The, the entire tank characteristics have changed, guys. I'm telling you, like, this the first gun on this tank is trash. This this gun, I can play this tank now. I can make this tank work now with this gun. Absolutely, I can. Absolutely. Okay. Now we're going to have an issue, though, where we need to kind of return to this area, and I don't really have the HP to do it. So now how do we how do we go about doing this? Because the LHMTV is still down there. I don't want to get outspotted by the LHMTV, but I do want to support the team here. LHMTV is pushing in now. Just kind of driving around trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's go right here in this corner. Maybe this guy will poke up. Maybe not. Do I want to sacrifice myself and eliminate this guy from the game? I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. 
I know everyone's going to be really mad that I'm not countering this guy, but I just don't see a way that I can do it safely. Unfortunately, I have a lot of support here. Like, one of these guys is probably just going to have to do this. Like, take the shots. And what I'm going to do is come this direction. I don't think the LHMTV will spot me from here. I can hit him once here. And we're still not lit. And now I think we can uh, get involved here. I think we come around like this. This is going to be a risky play, but it might be worth it. I don't, can I take a shot from the Lorraine, actually? I love this tree, guys. Like, this tree is so effective at poking up and spotting. I don't think this guy knows. Maybe he does. Is he going to blind fire this? We need to clean up this Lorraine. Like, this team, man. Like, I need this team to hit this guy. Do we have an arty? We don't. Okay. Understandable, then. They probably don't have a shot. Okay. You're welcome. I was that so deep. Um... Now the problem is, do we rush this? Because if we rush it, and the RHM, or like the Nomad, or someone has pushed up, we're going to be in trouble. Kind of have support here. I'm really not certain if this is the right play or not, but I'm going to go for it. But if like the Nomad is sitting like down here by the buildings or something, and I get lit, there's the e -Diz. Yes, this gun is so much better, man. Oh my gosh, this gun is this gun is so much better, dude, than the previous one. Yeah, this is really like just not easy to do, man. If this bush line was like completely like this, we might be able to make this work, but there's just like I'm not an even 90, man. This is really risky. I don't like this at all, based on where the RHM was last and all that. Like, if everyone was pushing in, I would go. But Also, you get another, like, 50 HP, I think, when you put the other turret on. Because so now I have 1,000 HP. Okay, I hope they don't blind fire. The RHM could very well still be sitting here. There's this long building that protects that area. That's why it's a pretty good spot. See, what this guy is doing is kind of what I wanted to do, but... That's why I wasn't doing it. <laughs> you guys see why I'm so... Uh, F you, Bulldog, trash. See what I mean, man? Like, people will literally try and push up themselves, and then they get spotted, and you're, it's your fault, man. It's your fault every time. Like, dude, you're my only support. Look where the rest of the team is, my man. You know? It's like... Shouldn't be spotted here taking this. If you, Bulldog. I'm impatient, and it's your fault. Like, look where the team is. See this? Look on the map, guys. I'm gonna draw it for you. Look on the map. Where where all my all the teammates are, like, you know, you have to you have to like a light tank is a is a support vehicle, you know. You're supposed to spot for the team. Why would I spot 
when no one has shots except the Su-130 kind of maybe behind me, which we're getting assist damage on the Yag right now. You see what I'm saying? I hope the Udes doesn't spot me here. Should be far enough away. Good, beautiful. STRV is trying to sneak up and get these shots, man, and it's like, you don't need to be that close, man. Like, you really, you don't need to be that close. Stop, stop trying to push up in the bushes just to make a point and die so you can go, Light Tank, you were supposed to do that. It's your fault now. You know what I mean? It's like, I swear to God, people do it on purpose just so they can, they can say something against the Light Tank, you know? They try and do what the Light Tank is supposed to do, and they die. And light Tank, shitter, trash. Like, all day, man. I get this all day. Oh, man. Makes my day, guys. It's freaking hilarious. Like a fist through a wall. Come on, Sue. I know you have a shot at this guy. There it is. Brilliant. Now the Udez, wait for the Sioux to kind of keep coming up and the TVP to keep coming up. This guy's going to be right here. I know it. The TVP is here. His, the only place he could go is back here. There's no way he would have been able to make it around the TVP. I have a feeling he's maybe here. I'm going to pre-aim here. Okay. Yeah, he is there. I'm dead. The enemy is hit. Try not to overpoke this guy. <laughs> He definitely could have killed me there, man. Like, I I way overpoked that. So, three kills, guys. 22, 17 damage, 17, 16 assists. If you saw last session, this is a complete 180. So, goodness me, man. You guys are only going to see the good games, I guess, because, I mean, I, I wish I recorded the previous session, but a mastery just like that, man. We'll play. So... Again, guys, like, don't let these people, man. Don't let these people try and, like, sneak into bushes and do what you're supposed to do, right? Supposed to do, right? Like, the bull... I would do what I, that in the even. Oh, dude, in the even, that game would have been over five minutes ago, right? But you can't do that shit in the bulldog. That's what I'm telling you guys. But don't let people sneak into the bushes like that and then shit on you. Like, when you... Th when they think that's how you're supposed to play it... Like, I'm telling you guys, like, you can't... Th this game has changed, man. Back in the day, you used to get, like, a tier 4 light tank, and you'd be against, like, tier 8s. And your whole job was just to spot. <laughs> like, you know? Like, still, even back then, I think you should be playing like I'm playing now. But there was more of this emphasis on, like, light tanks are literally just there for one purpose. You know? And now the, the, that emphasis has changed when you see, when you watch people like me, Religion of Rage, Ayuxin, Kaizu, Skill, anyone, Lemming Rush, right? The Even 90 has changed the whole dynamic. Because the Even 90's one job is just to sit in a bush now, right? So. So two lights, they have even 90s. I spot the salad in here. I, in almost every tank, even the even 90, just come to here. Like, nothing really changes that play for me. I'm gonna spot the E4. I'm lit here, which would imply that it's possible the even 90 is, like, in this area or something like that. So that's why I spot check this. He also could be, it's possible, like, in here or, like, somewhere like that. So I like to put this bush in between me and this rock, because this is often where they like to go. 
then I'll just do this real quick. Okay. There's one of them. See that? And you can effectively outspot from here. So there's T69. This is where the view range on a tank like the Hawk 30 or the T... What is this thing? The M41 Bulldog? I was going to say T37. I don't even know these tanks that well. But this is where they pay off, right? So we're just going to come up, snapshot this guy real quick. And this gun is reliable where you can do this, right? They have already, so let's move a little bit. But now that, they, now that I have the reliable gun on it, you can poke up, quick aim time, right? That's where these tanks, in my opinion, are excelling. Active scouting, quick snapshots, etc. That kind of play, play style. Because they're so big, right? The Hawk 30 doesn't really have that snappiness to it like this thing does. IMO. Just keeping this E4 lit, maybe for Arta. Good, beautiful, 380. Oh man, I love when arty players actually hit the crap that I spot. It's rare, but it happens. Complete 180, guys, from last session. Complete 180, there's the Sioux. And the cool thing about this tank that I was crapping on before is the big commander's hatch here. So like, you could see, we spotted this guy when I was sitting like this. <laughs> you see that? Like, you don't have to poke up that much at all because your, your hatch, like, your hatch is so big. We spotted him when my gun was, like, here. Like, we had absolutely no shot, but the commander's hatch could see him. So that's cool as well. Makes it good for active scouting. So a lot of the things that I would initially crap on this tank for are, are okay if you can get it into the right situation, right? Just using this bush to continuously spot the E4. Hit him once. Can we hit him again? I should have poked just a little sooner, try and keep my even 90 alive, man. I thought he was going to be okay there with the Kari support, but... He must have missed two of those shots. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is start coming away from here. We kind of won this, but not really. The problem is, this game, this map is not won in this area. It's won in the ABC 123, and they have won it. And so likely this is going to be a loss, but we're going to try our best to adjust to the situation. And what I like to do is at this point, it's too late to spot, right? You just come to the back and do damage as the team pushes in, especially because the even 90 is going to blow right through here. And yeah, you, you basically just spot at this point. Or rather, do damage, not spot. So here's the even. I'm actually just going to go right after this guy. This is way too aggressive on his part. Way too soon. Yeah, greetings, my man. It's fine. Okay. The HP is really not going to matter all that much, because I don't think this game is going to be close. So I'll give some of that HP to the even and go after him immediately. Because we need to eliminate that guy so that the rest of my team is not lit here. And try and ping these guys for some shots but wouldn't it be really cool if render range wasn't a thing like you would absolutely annihilate people on this map if render range wasn't a thing like if this was battlefield dude imagine like how tricky it would be to play this part of the map you'd have tds from all the way back here that can spank you okay. they didn't push in nearly as fast as i thought they were going to So maybe we can actually try and see if any of these guys are going to push the field real quick. I am lit 
here. So maybe the even is out there. The other even. That's what I would assume. But it doesn't look like anyone else is pushing, which is good. I'm just going to try and get an angle to try and help this suit. We'll load the heats. Like, I don't know really what else to do in this situation. We've lost the brawling part of the map, and the Bulldog cannot brawl, really. I mean, really the only tank, I think, at this tier that can kind of brawl is the LT-432. Moral support, guys. That's what we're here for. But maybe we can get this, shoot this guy like this. Yes. Come on, get that lower plate. There we go. Okay, now we come back. Because what's going to happen is eventually this even 90 is going to get impatient and he'll push up as well. See? I can predict what light tank players are going to do because that's all I play. But as for most other things, I don't, I'm not an expert. Right? Like, I can't outspot the even 90, man. We can try and get here to maybe help the Udez a little bit. That's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to come up like this and see if we can help the Udez before he goes down. If these guys push, don't die, my man. Like, you can only do so much, man. I, I hate to say it, guys. Like, you know, we, we could we could try and be out there and help, but we have the Udez, and that's it. Maybe the prototype can get shots, but this this map is one in ABC 1, 2, 3. So, that's all you can really do. Here's the even. At least this will give Artie some shots. should, anyway. I think we can sit right here. Oh, this tank's really big. I don't know if I can even make this work right here. I don't know, he was sitting behind the rock. Artie should clean me up here, I'd like to think. Eleven forty one damage, sixteen forty two assists. These games, man, like holy crap! I was almost stuck at seventy percent, guys, with this other gun, and now like we put this. Somehow the matchmaking has completely one eighty since I've put on the gun and the turret. It's incredible, actually. It's quite incredible. Two two battles, okay? Two battles, guys. Twenty six thirty three spotting, eleven forty one damage. In two battles, I think. My and my w, look at my WTR. Like, it was at, like, 6,000 on the last session. Like, this is ridiculous, guys. 6,355 WTR, 1,679 damage. Like, what the heck? All of a sudden, everything has flip-flopped, right? Because I'm telling you, I could not do jack shit in this tank before. And now, suddenly, even on El Haloof, we're making the vehicle work fine. So, I don't know. Maybe Wargaming gives you better matchmaking when you buy all the upgraded equipment on the vehicle who knows man but the last session was 40 minutes and it was five games that if that gives you an understanding 
we're at 30 minutes now and we've only played two so that shows you how different the games have been I want to say, in the last, like, 15 battles that I've played in this vehicle, the mark has gone from, like, 66% to maybe, like, 69%. Maybe. And then in the last couple of battles, we've gone up to, se like, 70-something percent, right? Like, it's just absurd, like, how much the matchmaking can play into you marking your tank, right? It's incredible to me, guys. You know? And I think that's why I I truly like to play a tank at least, like, an, an absolute minimum of 100 battles before I give it a full review. You could play it for 20, 30 battles and go, okay, it's decent. But I truly believe, because of the matchmaking, you have to play a tank, like, an absurd amount of times to really get an understanding of how good it's going to be. What is this guy doing? What an aggressive play. This will be an interesting game. No, we have to counter him, my man. Do this. Yeah, I would not recommend making that play that the M41 just made. Because if we win this side of the map, man, all he can do is run away. He's going to have to run, man. Like, big time. I want to trust my concealment, but I can't in this vehicle. That's the one issue with it. But I mean, I am going to sit here just for a little bit. I have my finger on the S key if needed. Like a fish through a wall. Okay, we're going. Do 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 do. I have to. I have to, guys. I have to do that. Now the question is, where is this E25? Did he try and run? Or can I spot him? Because I know he's, at, he's like a one-shot. Okay. It's actually a two-shot. Come on, man. Somebody get involved. Thank you. g -Sor. The guy's one shot, so... Oh, now I'm gonna have to deal with this tiger. Thank you. Come on, G-Sor. Help me. Never rely on teammates, guys. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, platoon if you really want to, but look at this. See what I mean? This is why you can't push this, man. You can't do what this guy did. Because now people are willing to throw their tanks away to clean you up. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, man. Like, these guys made the dumbest plays. Like, if someone was just sitting here that could actually spot something, this T-44 would have gotten deleted off the map Tiger threw away all his HP. The G Source still can't clean up the E25. This is why I never rely on teammates, man. How good could this game have been? It's a close game, too. And this is this is why you can't do what the M41 did and what we did. The 1357 pushes forward. At this point, I have to make a play to clean up the M41, right? Because I don't want this guy winning this side of the map. Because if he wins this side of the map, then he can outspot, you know my team on this side but people need to use tanks that have some armor and have guns like this g-sword man like get involved man i'm okay with the ikv and the isu but if you're a medium like this is a brawling zone 
This is a brawling zone. You can't just have the like one light tank just sit here and have five dudes back here when there's a, like a medium that comes here. There's a medium that comes here. Like it, you're, the enemy team is gonna win all day if you just leave this side of the map wide freaking open, man. So we made the play we made. Again, this is this is why and same example with the STRV, right? Like light tank spot, light tank spot. This is why you can't play like this, man. I'm telling you guys, like this is why I've made my channel because people don't understand, like most players that play this game don't understand how light tanks need to be played. I'm not gonna say or how they're supposed to be played. They need to be played much more passively than most players think, right? Like we made this play, man, with no support, pretty much, and luckily we got some damage on the tiger, but we didn't get any spotting, right? Because one of the tank destroyers had spotted him. But then this whatever T44 YOLO's in as well, and though it's not the best play, like the T44 made this play, it's not a good play, right? Because he's just throwing his tank away now that we have the support here. But people don't care. Like, there's a lot of players on the enemy team that'll just YOLO into somebody. And that's why you can't play the tanks in that way. Because you'll get a lot of people on the enemy team that will literally rather throw their tank off the side of a bridge and land on you because it's hee hee ha ha funny um, and throw their tank away and have fun, right? It's like, I'm not even going to argue it that much, but they'd rather have fun and do something like that than to sit back and conserve their HP, man. So... It's just the way this game is, man. There are a lot, a lot of casual players that play this game. But I like to take it serious. And when you make plays like this, man, you're just going to throw your tank away. So we try and support the AMX 1357 there, or redeem him anyway. And uh, this is what we get. So this should be a close game. I'm staying in this game just so I can continue calling things out, guys, as I see them. But that's my take on being aggressive in a light, right? I don't want the M41 to go uncontested, so I push into him, but then other people are also pushing in. They're playing it the right way. They're playing this side of the map like it's supposed to be played. I truly wonder how this is on the Russian server, if there even still is a Russian server um, for World of Tanks, because I know things are played even differently on the EU server compared to NA. The Russian server, I think, is just a lot of people playing, like, all hold down stuff, man. And, like, everything is a brawl, right? So, randoms are so much different than competitive games. Like, when you play competitively, there are clan games that I've seen where people take, like, an entire side of the map, right? And now look at this. The G-Sword, look at this. The G-Sword is trying to poke this. He's trying to push this. Look where his support is. You have two already players back here, but your support is here. These guys don't have shots. They're not even looking for them right now. You know? And now they now they have to face the T-44. So, like, why is this guy all the way down here? Just doesn't make sense, man. You know, like, support, support your team. And this is why you just can't rely on people, man, as a light tank player. You, you can't rely on your teammates, man. You have to play your own game, guys. And this is this is why I have my channel and why I emphasize these things. We're going to watch the end of this game, by the way, and then we'll play one more, and that'll be the session. And you guys can always skip ahead. But I'd like to just stay in the game and continue watching and call things out, right? So at this point, I would think that capping is not the worst play. If both of these tank destroyers can get to here and cover for this guy, he can sit right here on the cap, right in this area, and go on uh, unspotted while capping, right? I'm actually going to click on that frame. Go here, man. Sit here. And then the tank destroyers, see, they're coming up too far. And now the BZ is here. So, like, if these guys had stayed, like, right here, they would have easy shots on the BZ now, and he's going to die. So that's what these tank destroyer players should have done. That's where I would have been if I was in, like, the Waffle Panzer or something. I would have been sitting right on this corner. And then you would have had an easy shot there. But is what it is now, man. This is why I like staying in the game, guys. I can, like... I can I can Monday, Monday morning quarterback everybody, right? 
So watch this ISU. The ISU has good HP, so I'd like to think this guy can take out the 166. But then the problem right now is actually the Caliban, because that thing's ridiculously OP. IKV went down. Scorpion is behind now. That's a good play by the Scorpion to get there. Wow. I wouldn't have double shot that. I think that was a bad play. Good shot by the Arta, though. And now the Caliban is there, too. Wow, that's incredible. Does he beat his reload here? I don't think so. Come on, Artie. Yeah, they don't have shots. Can put one right through here, though. Yeah, this is GG, man. This is GG. This is a very long and close game. So can you imagine, guys, if we stayed alive? This is a win. This is a win. If I stayed alive and played it properly and didn't rush in to redeem the AMX 1357. However, if we didn't go after the M41, though, how much different would this have been, you know? Because then we're kind of leaving the M41 there uncontested, like he had been the whole game. And because I can't push in, it, it would allow people to be more aggressive. These guys could have gotten closer to my team than it would have really been a brawl. Yeah, we just needed more players on this. If the G Sword played aggressively from the start, I probably would still be alive. I truly believe it. I think the G Sword, like, I know it's a tank destroyer, the 1008, but the clip potential on this freaking tank, man, the 1008, like, you need to be aggressive with it. You need to be aggressive with it, man. You really do. Because it has ridiculous clip potential. Like, absurd clip potential. And so, what I find is that it's better to just be aggressive with it, and you have that little bit of support, right? Okay, now you go after him. Go after him. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's going to be too late. Yeah. Nice. This is a close game, man. I... I hope you guys are enjoying watching this as much as I am, man. I mean, I'd really like to play one more after this, but... All three of these games have been really close. So it's, it's going to be a really long session. But I'm enjoying myself. These that should get this. I don't think the S51 would even be able to clean this guy up with one shot. Unless it's a direct hit. Let's see what this BZ is going to do. At this point, if I were the S51, I'd be up against the rock. You can try and bait this guy to come up up and over. Yeah. And then you can turn the gun up like this and shoot him as he dives over. That was a good game, though, man. But if, see, if we stayed alive, that was a win. It's really that simple, guys. You don't want to be aggressive. Like, we made this mistake, and it's going to cost us in the end. Three really close games, man. I'm, I'm really liking this. What's that? Let's go one more. But yeah, man, we've played this tank extremely, extremely well so far. So I'm really happy we're able to flip it around. Even though you guys didn't see the other games, man, trust me when I tell you they were they were miserable games. Absolute miserable games, man. And my win rate will not lie. I really dislike when people look at win rate alone too, man, because there have been some times where I, the last session that I played in the T100 LT that I tell you guys about, I played like 15 games. The first nine were losses and I actually played the tank well. I was spotting decent amount and I was averaging like 1500 plus damage every game, even when it was a stomp, even when it was a stomp, man. So. Just an example, guys, but we lost like the first eight or nine games, and that's the thing. If you only play eight or nine games, 0% win rate over eight or nine battles. Like, this is why I truly believe in playing a lot of battles before you, you make a determination about if a tank is good, if a player is good. 
if anything is good. You need data, you know. Or even die already, he did. That's gonna leave the right uncontested. Hey man, that's why you don't run out to the bush line like all the way out, just play passively. Like people just play so stupidly in, in light tanks, man. I'm telling you guys. Like people just play them so stupid. Now they have an uncontested even in T92 on that side of the map. That I'm never going to be able to counter. I will try though. We have the support of the Viper and the CS-53. We're going to try, at least. Scout, no, you guys needed the even 90 to stay alive, man. That's what you needed. No one's going to be able to counter this now. Yeah, there's no way I can, I can outspot this guy. So we just have to wait for this guy to make a play to try and take this portion of the map, because it's either the T-92 or the even that's just sitting in there. I like to think it's the T-92, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, if he's just going to sit there, I, I can't counter it, man. I mean, the bush line is too big. I, I usually shoot at the edge the very end of the bush line, but... I mean, even 90 gave him that in the first minute of the game. Literally gave him the entire bush line in the first minute of the game, so... Okay, another slaughter. Now we're, we're getting back to the slaughters again. Now he's come out from high from his hiding, right? going to try and get as much spotting damage out of this as possible, I think. Just sit right here. Come on, type, shoot something.
lit on fire in the back. 625 damage, 431 assist. This was a this was a stomp, guys. So now we're going back the other way. We're just going to end the session here before it gets too bad again, right? But yeah, these are the types of games that I've been experiencing a lot of with this vehicle. And you can only adjust so much. It's like, what can we do, man? Like the, T the EVA 90 gave the T92 that whole side of the map. Then we lost the mid. We didn't even ever win the west either, the other side of the map. So everything's lost and you just have to kind of adjust the best you can. Like this was a freaking raffle stomp, man. I mean, look at this, man. So... You know, we'll, we'll continue to do our best here, but uh, but yeah, it's been brutal with this tank, man. But over those four battles, guys, even though the last two were crap, we still had a really good session here, right? Um, 1193 damage, 1385 assist. So the two, those two games that we played, the first two games, I'm telling you guys, in the close ones, you really need to stay alive. Like, that's how you're going to mark your tanks, man. So overall, we still had almost like a freaking 11k WTR with this thing. Which is, I just find to be incredible. I really, really do. I don't know if it's weighted differently because I feel like over those four battles to have this high of a WTR, I mean, we didn't even play that well combined, I think. But I guess so. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.